where our beers park. We love our Walmart boondocking. Not only are they convenient because you can always find one in your travels, parking lots are lit up and you don't have to worry about driving around a lot to pick up groceries and shopping necessities. But with the ever looming question of whether or not the overnight boondocking at Walmart will permanently be coming to an end, most full-time RVers are looking for other boondocking options. In some states like California, this isn't a Walmart rule, but it is up to the municipalities, um, basically because they have such an overwhelming amount of homeless that are living out of RVs. They've had too many issues with um, full-time homeless RVers living in the Walmart parking lot, so they, were, they will not allow it. Uh, when we were in California, the only Walmart that we found was in El Cajon. And although we were able to stay overnight, the managers did warn us that the police do sometimes come through and give tickets. And we did see that firsthand. Um, in the morning, I had gone into the Walmart to get some supplies. And when I came back out, um, they were knocking on doors because there were a lot of cars and things parked there for overnight sleeping. Um, but. The Walmarts that are deciding that they are not going to be allowing this is mostly due to fellow RVers in the community who have a total disregard for cleaning up after themselves, um, lack of respecting the area, and just completely setting up their entire outside living spaces in the parking lot. I mean, come on guys, let's be a little bit more respectful. I mean, for example, I went into the Walmart that we're at here in New Mexico on our way to Virginia and I went in to pick up some things for the road and when I was checking out I noticed that there were five kids that I had seen earlier in one of the RVs. They were sitting in the customer service area, all of their phones, iPads, everything plugged into the outlets and they were just charging everything there. There was no, no adult supervision and I mean literally they were just taking up almost the majority of the customer service area. Come on, we've got to get better. If we don't want the Walmarts to be going away, we need to do our part. You know, take your carts back. Don't leave trash in the parking lots. You know, be quiet. Yes, we're in a parking lot, but that doesn't give you the right to just come in and disregard it and actually make it worse for others to where we can't enjoy it. So anyway, here are our other alternatives to boondocking, which we found uh, through the states that we've been in, and we hope it is useful for you. Today we are going to be talking about our favorite boondocking spots, starting with... The Cracker Barrel. The Cracker Barrel. So we stayed here at this Cracker Barrel last night, but hold on, before we get into spots, let's tell people what boondocking is, because I know my grandma doesn't know what boondocking is. True, Grandma. I know we told you. Well, I think we told you, but if you don't know, this is what boondocking is. So boondocking is staying at any location that does not allow you to hook up to electric or sewer. Right. And it's free of charge. Right. That's the most important part. Free. Yeah. Right. So we like staying at Cracker Barrels because they have a section that they have accessible or ready for our beers. And of course, when you wake up in the morning after sleeping, you can have a great breakfast. I love those pancakes. Yep, exactly. Well. Awkward. Anyway, let's go check out our next food docking site.
Bass Pro Shops are a great place to boondock overnight. Not only are they usually located right off of the highway, but typically have less foot traffic in the evening, so you really don't have to worry about it as much as you do, like say, a Walmart. Um, not only that, they welcome the RV community. This in our venture to find free boondocking places and areas. Look at this. See? Free parking on this side of the beach. No permit required. So we virtually have the beach all to ourselves. Look, look, there's our house. Park right in the beach. Here in Mustang <laughs> Island. She's excited to be out of the house. So we are boondocking in Mojave National Park um, in California. It's about an hour and a half south, I think it is, of uh, Las Vegas. Whew, and it is hot. We are on some BLM land and it is just basically the desert, but it's pretty cool. We have one other RVer far, far in the distance, if you can see him down there. Um, but other than that, yeah, look, I mean, it's just mountains and desert, mountains. We found this great boondocking site in Biloxi, Mississippi. If you can see it behind me, I think you can. We're parked over there. Back there. There's a bunch of different RVers. Um, we are right near the, I think it's the Golden Nugget Casino.
Good morning, my traveling people. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I always say it. Good morning, Good morning, my traveling Pisces peeps. Good morning, my traveling Oh, you're supposed Pisces. to say, what's up, fam? Okay, start over. Good morning, my traveling Pisces peeps. What's up, fam? Today. Wait, did I do that right? You did it good. Okay. You did it good. Then. All right. Good morning, my Charlie Pisces peeps. Good morning, fam. Oh, what's up, fam? 